welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I wanted to share something with you that I'm going to fix for us to eat. It's just a, a simple recipe that I found on Pinterest. It's um, by Plain Chicken. That's the name of the um, person who submitted the recipe. And I'm tired today. I've been busy and I really didn't want to fix a big meal and this is called French Dip Biscuits. Very simple. You take a can of refrigerated biscuits, eight, and I got the Great Value Jumbo uh, Biscuits and I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to take these biscuits. You ever heard these called Wop Biscuits? That's what somebody said they had fixed some Wop Biscuits. Meaning they took them out and they whopped them on the countertop and cooked them. Alright. Now, I put parchment paper down on my cookie sheet. And, uh, what I'm going to do with each of these biscuits is I'm going to pull them halfway apart. And I'm going to have to make room for me to do this before I put them back together. But these are, are easy to do and they would make, they're, our, they're gonna be our supper. But these would be so great if you're gonna be tailgating, you know, football se season is right upon us. And I don't know about y'all, but Harold and I like to watch football games on Saturday, but we like to eat while we're watching it and, and of course you know I think the main thing that we have made before has been uh, Rotel and things like that but I'm gonna put these two right here and I will when I get them put together I'll add them to the sheet but what I'm gonna do I have mixed a half a cup of mayonnaise and a teaspoon of horseradish sauce because it called for a horseradish cream and I didn't want to buy any so I just mixed it and I'm going to put a little bit on each side of the biscuit. If you say I don't like that, leave it off. It's okay. But there's not enough, um, there's only enough horseradish just to give it a little taste. But uh, to this, after I put it on both sides, I'm going to add provolone cheese. Let me put it on this one. Okay. Provolone cheese. I think that what I'm going to do is half each slice because I think that's going to be plenty. Like that. Uh oh. One would be too much. So really, you just need four um, slices because we're halving it. I love provolone on my sandwiches. Okay. One more. Then you get a pound of deli sliced 
low speed, thin. And you're just going to put that That roast beef smells good. I bought a pound and I'm not quite using all of it, so there'll be some for sandwiches. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those together and just pinch the sides. Just pinch them together. And like I said, I have preheated my oven to 400 and uh, You see how I'm just pinching them? I guess that's to keep the cheese from all running out the side. Okay. Our grandson that lives next door to us leaves tomorrow for college. He's going to the University of South Alabama in Mobile on a ROTC scholarship. He's going to uh, be in the Army and majoring in civil engineering. So I, the reason I'm tired I went shopping with him today, had a good little trip, we spent the day together, we just went not, not too far from home, but he had some last minute things he wanted to get, and he invited Gigi to go, so I'm not used to shopping much, I really walked more. This is them, and I'm going to bake them for 12 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. Let me put them in the oven. I put my oven on 12 minutes because I'll check it and see if it needs to stay longer. But while they're baking, I am going to mix up some Aju gravy mix. And, uh, of course, you just use this packet in water. But I'll have that for when they come out. And when they do, I'll be back. Okay, these stayed in the oven for 12 minutes. And I took them out. I've melted a little butter. And I'm just going to put a little butter over the top. There's a few little places where I didn't pinch it all the way that some of the melted cheese is coming out, but that's okay. Oh, they look so good. And I told you while these were baking, I was going to uh, make the au jus gravy, and all it was was three cups of water in one packet, and I have put a little in here and they're too hot for me to do it right now. But I, we will each have a bowl and we'll dip it in there. But do you see how, how good these are? They're really too hot. They're brown on both sides. And they're going to be good, y'all. So, so easy. You can do these as an appetizer for um, a ball game, or you can do it for a meal like Harold and Mama Sue's gonna have. 
Before I go, I want to read a scripture to you that you all know. It's from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek Him in all you do. And He'll show you which path to take. You know, every day I see how God has laid out my path. And at the time, I wasn't even sure of it. But I look back now, and I see that He arranged things to happen for my perfect will. You know, what I wanted might not have been my perfect idea. But I can look at it now and see that God's perfect will was what was perfect for me. But anyway, when you don't feel like doing good, you do it. That's just like my shirt, but I do. You may not feel like getting up and going and visiting somebody, but you do. They need that. Just be salt and light wherever you go. Let others see Jesus in you. Y'all share my page. And this recipe is on my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com. I'll be back soon.